Okay, this is the video that a lot of you have been waiting for. This is the video where I will show you how to post to your WordPress blog and show you how to configure it just a little bit on the back end of the blog. So this is the area where the post that you make actually goes. Kind of by default it goes to the current day that it, that it is, which is January 28th for today. This is the header, which these words sometimes show up in Google or Yahoo, so this is an important thing to make sure that they're related to your keywords. Of course your logo and the banner that goes to your local cleaning site. Now what I'm going to show you how to do first is to log in. You scroll down to where it says Meta, and the first time that you've ever been on the site, you log in and use the username and password that I gave you. and then you can click remember me if you wanted to keep track of who you are you don't have to log in every time okay now we're into the back end of your WordPress blog so if we want to write a post we click here for write a post and for a title we want it to be relevant to our keywords and you don't want to have all three key your keywords if you're a carpet cleaning company it's carpet cleaning and your city name or you can use tile cleaning in your city name if you're a plumber it would be plumber in your city name but whatever service you provide in your city name so let's use carpet cleaning and let's not say the whole three keywords because you don't want to say that every time but let's say carpet cleaning spots and for this is just going to be a short one we give a guarantee no spots returning and then we click publish and now we can either view post here to view the single post or we can view the whole site and see where it showed up on the site now where it shows up is right here at the very top and defaults to today's date so let me show you how to edit this post once we've made it you can move the post or we could have done some things differently when we first made it as far as categorizing the post so let me show you what to do we can either change whatever words we want to change here and click save or we can add a timestamp where it says edit timestamp for post timestamp and let's say we want to say that the post was made on January 7th we can do that and then we click save and now the post shows up it doesn't show up at the top anymore on the 28th it shows up as if it were posted on January 7th this is a good thing to do if your blog is brand new and you want to post date some so that it looks like you've been posting for the last few months so it doesn't look like a bare empty blog let me show you another thing too as far as to categorize your post it's a good idea for search engine optimization to add a category so here it automatically defaults as uncategorized but some of the other categories that I've used to spot removal tips but we could use let's just call one of the posts with our keywords carpet cleaning and unclick that and click add and click save now we scroll down to January 7th and it's posted in the category of carpet cleaning okay now let me show you how to change your about page about me page which is right here underneath your banner click on it usually just says about if you've never posted to it and just like a regular blog post they'll have this information so up here in the title you would click in your name and then type some information about you and who you are you can see read this closer if you want to go to Pensacola carpet cleaner dot com okay and then the next thing that I want to show you is how to get into the back end and change some things on your header and after we've already logged in it just shows up as site admin so all we have to do is click this and we can get inside your site and if we click on options this is the header of our actual blog where it, it says carpet rug and tile cleaning tips by the expert in Pensacola again this is something that you want to be very sensitive to your keywords and the tagline of the blog you can just change some of that if you want but try to keep it to do with your keywords if you're having a lot of problem with spam what you're going to want to do is unclick both of these if I haven't already done that for you. 
what this will do if you click them people will be allowed to register to post stuff because sometimes your customers will want to but otherwise if you don't want anybody to ever post to it you can just unclick these and have them unchecked just like this is so that no spam spam bots can get in and nobody else can actually register to do anything on your site so that's how you would change that and the other thing that I want to show you is how to change the color you go to presentation and header image and color you can change the color of your header image so we want to change it to be uh, darker color than the lower color we want to change it to be let's say red okay and then you just click update header but we're not going to do that we're just going to click revert and um, now I want to show you how to change the blog role if you want to change that now I recommend that you contact some of the different companies in your area be it carpet retailers or other retailers that you network with but any other company that has to do with the keyword of your city that's in your city would be beneficial to link with so you'd want to add them to your blog role you can just add them right here and then that will give you some bonus points with Google and it'll also give them some bonus points with Google so that's what you're gonna to want to do and that's basically the the nuts and bolts remember when you post it doesn't need to be long this is a medium sized post that I make you know a pretty typical size post a few short paragraphs sometimes it could just be one sentence sometimes it could you know this is sort of the half post that we did but sometimes it can just be a sentence or two and then sometimes you're going to want to make longer posts because you do want to have some good content the main purpose behind a blog is two things one you want to be known as the expert in that area so you want to have some meaningful useful content Google likes that better too but two you want it for search engine optimization and search engine ranking so that when they see this you catch their attention and they click here to go to your local carpet cleaning site and it works really well so thanks a lot happy blogging and make sure that you post on average every one to two weeks minimum every three weeks and then you'll see your search engine optimization go up and you'll start to get some good traffic on your website thank you